Hello and welcome, it's Joy Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland on a beautiful, sunny um, winter's afternoon here in Queensland but we have gorgeous winters so we can't complain. It's been about 22 to 26 degrees, I think we're in Fahrenheit here. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad at all. Today I'm going to do a basic flip cup, I think. Might change my mind in between, but this is some leftover colours that I have that I did using, um, which I haven't used for a long time, Elmer's Glue All at 7030 as my pouring medium and two drops of the... Um, Helmar silicon. I will put a link in the first comment below of the video I've just done recently, um, actually going through all, all of the process to get uh, that particular recipe that gives beautiful cells. So I am going to use the rest of the colours to flip cups and see what I get. So obviously this is just a white that I'm using and I might go, actually I might go copper. I have this that I want to use up, so I'll just put this in the mix and see how we go. And then I have a, yeah, getting these out of here. This is the very, very delicious, which is a, like a dark black cherry. And I make it out of um, dark red. Uh, phalo blue and a blob of black if you want it to go even darker and this is magenta so this is just your basic flip cup and like I said if I link the recipe it'll help you out with the yeah sort of making up this particular paint recipe and you can ease if you're in the US you can buy that glue all. I don't find the, the Elmer's clear glue or I don't find the uh, school glue. It does not, for me, does not give me the same results as the glue all. But I just know it's easy to find in the US. So kind of good to do this for our US people. Um, so I've got magenta, orange and bright yellow. Add in a bit more white to the mix. Um, go back to the copper, it's metallic copper. There we go. Oh, I add back over that this berry delicious. I've, I've named my custom colour Berry Delicious because it is Berry Delicious. And I'll pop on a bit more magenta. You're thinking, what the heck is she doing with those colours? But I'm just hoping they will play nicely together and come out something special. Add a bit more orange. Ooh, okie doke. I think that might do for this particular one. So I'm going to give it the flip. So just quick and easy, straight over. If you're not very um, used to doing that, you might want to put your canvas over the top and flip, but um, it's too difficult to do that with two cups. So I was sort of sticking with doing it like that myself. So I'm just pouring the rest of this white that I have to use it up. I have this kind of colour that I mixed leftovers with and it's kind of like a steel blue lilac. I'm going to just use it around the edges. It'll kind of pour off, I guess, and hopefully leave my yummier colours available to... Um, move around a bit more freely so I'll just get rid of this because it's been sitting there for over a week when I've just been adding 
colours to it, <laughs> throwing them all in, trying not to waste anything. But that's it. And then all those colours look gorgeous anyway. I'm going to add some white around. Let's see what we get. When we flip, when we flip the cup, so I'll move everything out of the way because I don't knock anything over that way. Oh, here we go. It's kind of a flip and lip. Ah. I just love those colours. Look at this. So... This particular recipe, like I said, I'm going to put the link for you. So if you want to know about it, click on the link and there is everything there that you need to add for this particular recipe to get the cells. And like I said, it's a recipe that I haven't used for quite a long time. This was the what I used at the beginning of my paint journey and um, sort of thought I would go back and back in time and give it another go because you change over time things that you do you try new things and you stick with things and like many things you do go back where's those trousers I don't think I've done a flip cup like this in a very long time. So I'm just going to bring it back, recenter the paint so it's not all down the one end. Wow, that looks gorgeous. I look like I've got a little animal there and there's two arms up. It's pretty amazing what you do see in these paws that pop up. And instead of using my heat gun, I'm going to go back and use the um, butane torch. I don't recommend butane, especially if you're not used to using it. The heat gun is so much safer. It does the same thing. Um, the only thing I seem to create with the butane torch and this particular recipe, it creates clusters of cells. It might not work the same for this particular pour, but we'll give it a go. So I'm just gonna just dab it. You see how it creates the little clusters, which we used to call chili clusters back in the day when I started this journey. And if I went all over it, it would just all come up in clusters, cells. So I think that's enough because cells are lovely, but um, sometimes it's nice to have a bit of space between them. Look at the colours, absolutely gorgeous. The cells are beautiful. I'm going to bring you down. Come on down and have a look at a close up at this and see how gorgeous this actually is. Just look at these cells. This is the clusters that I get from using the Elmer's glue all um, my pouring medium like there's cells within cells. The colours are just gorgeous. And they're just, they, they're very gem-like. So, oh, that's a nice little cluster there. And then look at these. They just look like jilly gems. Definitely jilly gems. Oh, beautiful. I'm really, really happy with that. As that dries, those cells will develop further. I'm just hoping they don't take over the whole painting. But look at those. See, you can take... Oh, Benson. Take shots of these now with your high-definition camera and certainly uh, make posters out of, you know, the part, the cells that you really love. The whole thing is there. 
Um, but yeah, you can take really nice high definition photos of some of these for, you know, prints. But I just look, they look like little pebbles. There's some pebbles, there's some gems clusters well i hope you like this one and um yeah it was something different again going back in time to what i used to do when i first started so you you, you go backwards forwards try new things go back to the old whatever you fancy on any day it's up to you remember it's your art room your rules your way so enjoy every day in your art room i say so for now, you dear people, I will see you again tomorrow. Please join me, um, hopefully something different again.